I deserve my own private island for this shit, but okay. Again, based on my body's physically superior design, here's the ultimate projector that's basic that should cost like fucking fifty dollars. Yeah, it's basically like our Zach D. It's just big and chunky, you just slam it down, you know what I mean? And all it does is it does this. It's just got cactus carmine red and the cactus like peyote acid green. And it's just big old huge like refillable things that you can just, you know, fill. And uh all it does is it uh, recoats uh, lenses in it with the, the colors because they'll wear off with ions coming through them. The dye automatically as it goes through the refracting crystals if it just resprays the surface. So what it does is it goes to a single crystal that splits it two ways and it goes to two mirrors that then refocus it and when it hits the next mirrors it's, it splits it again but it's already going straight into the, the, the focaling mechanism that's inside the projector. And that mechanism is designed to, you know, refocal them down to one specific point perfectly. Yeah. So it's just a simple diamond pattern of splitting. So then remixing the colors dynamically through two mirrors makes the colors more complex away from each other and then back together. So you have really good color edge 3D that's tight without like that VHS effect bleed over from the colors. True. Because you're really diamonding it and diamonding it before you focus it and, you know, getting more color depth through that. Yeah. Uh, I, I deserve my own fucking private island. Well, yeah, like, I like your idea because I love it. Like, for example, this screen here that I'm using, or I mean this recorder, yeah. this camera I'm using, it uh pulls in the light like, you know, a pinhole camera, truly. Yeah. So it's creating the 3D truly in the environment what it's looking at. Because it's actually pulling the light in from all around and cross hatching it in all directions into the sensor and actually receiving that data, the ions, yeah. at any angle through. That's why I was saying, you know, every camera is good, but closing the aperture down on a sensor that isn't designed to really do it so that the light is, in a sense, yeah. being falsely pinholed and not the correct ratio in space. Yeah. It, it's always going to have its issues. That's why I always advise building cameras specifically for new pinhole lenses. Yeah, exactly. Like, what I was saying is, this, no, the sensor's not that special in this camera. Instead, the pinholing is actually done correctly, so the light automatically is pulled in by the nice. lens at cross angles. So then the the actual um, software and stuff in here is pretty simple because... It's receiving the data it needs so directly, perfectly for the 3D. That's what I said. I said we needed even light pickup, and that's how this camera was created. It's yeah. trying to get the flattest image possible that's the most even, and mm -hmm. like, at no point is the light too intense. Everybody else, they're doing yeah. these like, hyper-concentrated beams, whereas when it's spread out more, not only is it easier on people with epilepsy and things, but it's also uh, incredibly efficient, which means that that's the only reason I can get these files down in size easily. Yeah, it turns out, like, yeah, we came up with the idea of the, yeah, of the DJI Osmo, you know, full. Yeah. But people act like instead they're developing, like, because we kind of came up with the idea where, yeah, it would be the DJI Osmo Pocket 3. Yeah. It would be the same as the DJI Osmo Large 3. And um, so whatever the capabilities that would be, you think it wouldn't be possible, but I'm they're already scared. doing it. It's like well, I already saw the the details. Like, yeah, you put on different heads. Like this DJI just has the singular one, but we came up with the idea so yeah, you can pop them on and off magnetically, and then it's so you've small. got the push pull with the zoom head and everything. Yeah. Like it's a bigger ball slightly for like it's a webcam. Yeah, you put on different heads. Yeah. When you want it. And for push pull, I'm telling you, if you can use the DJI Osmo Pocket Three, um, as a webcam, it'd be extremely popular for uh, everybody chatting with lady boys, all that, all your 80 year old grandmas chatting with lady boys. Uh, I really would appreciate it if uh, everybody wouldn't act like as if fetishes are popular, and somebody's sexual ambiance is also popular. It's not like I'm Sean Connery and, <laughs> like, you know, I really smacked around those bitches good for you guys. I what I'm understand. saying is the push-pull technology on the DJI 3 for webcamming, it really excites people because you can make yourself look all sexy and distorted but still not. 
Yeah. Yeah. It'd be awesome. Mm -hmm. Can't wait for all the apps and movie upgrades. 